We are live. My name is David, and this is an overview of my conceptual framework for a study uh, of how a pedagogical technologist improves um, a school's ways of doing through technology. Uh, first of all, if I zoom in over here, there are different types of um, IT integration models, and um, there are uh, what could be said uh, mature stages and uh, immature stages of IT integration in a school. And um, I've argued that a pedagogical technologist can only exist in progressive, uh, uh, the latter stages of IT integration uh, in a school uh, that it likely wouldn't survive in the earlier immature stages of IT integration. And um, I use the uh, ecological metaphor to support this. Indeed, the ecological metaphor underpins uh, this understanding of sustainability of the pedagogical technologies at different stages. And it also underpins um, this design. This is a two-tier nested ecological model. And uh, in this model, which has been designed specifically uh, with uh, non-mainstream schools in Hong Kong at uh, this particular stage uh, of IT integration in mind, we can see, first of all, that there's a global ecology and the school ecology uh, is uh, subsumed under this global ecology. Um, <clears throat> in the global ecology, we see different institutional species, including the state, community, educational institutions, professional organizations, and businesses. And uh, of course, the school is one institutional species within this global ecology. Now, within the uh, school ecology, we have different types of species. We have biotic species. Teachers, principals, parents, administrators, support staff, students, and the pedagogical technology. So all of these are uh, biotic species, and they're environed uh, by abiotic species, what I uh, call ways of doing. And these ways of doing these abiotic species include professional developments, uh, teaching through IT, relationships, shared vision, and uh, what else do we have here? Policies, infrastructure, and leadership. So these are the uh, biotic and abiotic species, which um, in some uh, are the school. And I've developed all of these species uh, by reading the literature. And all of these are important for um, the change uh, or the improvement of ways of doing in school, and in particular, uh, teaching through IT. OK. Um, Within the pedagogical technologist, I've included also certain internal indicators uh, taken from the literature, including uh, TPAC, pedagogical, uh, technological, pedagogical, and content knowledge, the pedagogical technologist's disposition, professional role, philosophy, professional experience, goals, and visions. In sum, <clears throat> this is my vision of the world of a pedagogical technologist, the ecology of pedagogical technologist. And uh, what I'm studying is how this pedagogical technologist uh, influences, impacts, uh, and, and improves uh, this, the school's abiotic species, by interacting with them and also with the species at the school and global ecological levels. I developed an alternate framework just to uh, illustrate uh, my research in a different way. We still have the global and school um, ecologies with the same uh, biotic and abiotic species. But then in the center, I place the abiotic species, and specifically the teaching through IT, because ultimately this biotic species exists because of um, this particular uh, abiotic species. And so the pedagogical technologist amongst these players is trying to improve these ways of doing, which includes teaching through IT. And I think that's about it. So I wonder if uh, this ecological model makes sense. Um, 